Hi, welcome back to another episode of Cold Stream Rod Shop. I'm Derek Fraser. In this episode, we're going to be working on replacing the rear corners of the both the, the 32 five window coupes. Over here is kind of like what we started with. I showed in a previous episode of what what I can start with. Um, I had done a little bit of work on the other coupe before in this rear corner, but I'm actually going to replace it. Over here on the New York coupe, I've taken all the bits and pieces out of the back that are rotted the rear pan and I've begun work here removing this one corner. So I kind of removed most of it here kind of to where I think the piece will fit. Over here, um, as in the previous episode, I had made one set of rear corners. I now have three complete rear sets. So I've got a spare and I've got some trial pieces here in case I need to actually cut up and just repair one of the corners because one of the corners is actually not in bad shape. I think I only have to use kind of like the bottom piece here to replace it. I don't want to replace any more metal than I have to, but a couple of them will require the basically the whole corner to be replaced. So in this episode, like I'm going to start fitting them. So this is this one. This basically is where that piece is going to approximately fit. I made some measurements before I made any cuts whatsoever from the top of here to the bottom of where it should be. And I also have a friend that has an original 32 five window coupe that's been sitting in his garage since 1972, basically an all original car, uh, original running boards and everything is intact. So I'm able actually to go and make an appointment and visit that gentleman and take some patterns off and make sure I have like the exact measurements of everything. So right now I'm going to start fitting this piece welded in place. This corner, we're going to work on it. And hopefully by the end of this video, we'll have four corners done on these two five window coupes.
here we have it. We've got the first uh, rear corner welded in. Everything's all nice and welded in, good and straight. Um, you would have seen previously that I would have tried the fender on here a couple times. Basically dollied the edge up to make sure that the fender lip followed the fender itself. So one corner, it's pretty much dressed in. I don't know if I have to do anything else. I'll check for some pinholes or whatever. It's nice and straight. My measurements are up good for the first corner. I'm now switching over to the driver's side or the passenger side. Um, the passenger side wasn't as bad. <clears throat> I cut everything out. Um, I'm going to have to put a new piece in here, but the rest of the metal all around it is pretty good. Um, I do have a, a complete corner, but I don't want to use it. Um, I want to try and use as much metal as I possibly can. So what I started doing was making um, just a bottom piece here. Now the bottom piece just consists of a, a bent flange, but because I didn't roll the edge, I actually have to shrink the top here to make it fit. So right now, that's about where I am. I've got a little bit more work to go before I can weld that in place. So I'm just, on this corner, I'm just gonna weld the bottom in. There was a couple dents here that I've dollied out already. So I'm gonna do this going to do this edge and then hopefully we'll have the second corner done. My attempt at putting the flange on the bottom of this corner actually didn't work out. It didn't quite have the right shape. So I basically had to resort to cutting up one of my corners, taking the flange off the side and the piece across the bottom to get the right shape. So right now, as you can see, I've got the bottom welded in and just for mock-up purposes, and it's all welded along here and up this side and ground down. For mock-up purposes, I've put the rear pan on and stuck a lid in here just to make sure that it were into the basically the right shape. The lid fits quite tightly on the sides, but um, there's still a lot of adjustment left to do on the body, but it still fits. So we're on track, we've got the right shape. Passenger side and driver side uh, rear corners are all welded in. Now I'm going to go to work on the Moncton Coupe. So I'm going to start fitting this corner in. I've got a piece for it, so I've got to decide how much of the original metal I'm going to keep versus how much of this corner here. And it'll all depend on what kind of condition this metal is in. The one thing I found before on the Moncton Coupe, there was a lot of lead into it. So I'm quite suspicious right now if there's a lot of lead into this corner here. So kind of start cutting it away a little bit till I get into some good metal. And then we'll see how far we get with this one. corner number three on the Moncton Coupe. Uh, as you just saw, I cut it off a couple seconds ago. Um, was debating whether or not to try and use some of the parent material, but um, once I looked at it, there was a bunch of lead into it, kind of as I had said previously, that the car was, it's got a lot of lead in it um, and a lot of thin spots. So I just decided to use the whole corner because basically I had formed these corners you know, basically have the flow up to that point. Um, this was the exception on this corner here because the metal was good enough just to weld the bottom on and do the lip. So this one, I left it alone. Um, so this is welded in place, it's ready to grind. It's running out of time to finish the video. So the camera lady has to prep this for Thursday night. So this is as far as we're gonna get um, uh, actually doing the other side here. This was the original corner I'd done probably about a year or two ago. I did it on another video. It's not bad. Um, it's just that 
over time you get better doing stuff, you know, practice, practice, practice makes perfect. So I was far more happier with these larger corners that I made and I made a bunch of them up. So I decided to cut that piece out um, and weld this piece in and I got a much better fit, much better flow with the lines. There's less distortion in the metal and uh, of course each time you put it in you got to check and make sure the fender fits in the fender well and you get a, a decent gap all the way around. Now these welds still all have to be dressed, they all have to be dollied um, and actually take any imperfections out of them. So this is just as far as I can go for this video um, to finish it off this week. Doing the four corners on the Moncton Coupe and the New York Coupe was actually, it was quite a bit of work getting those in. Um, we have that one, the New York Coupe kind of mocked up. The next steps, like I said, I'm going to grind off these welds and on the next episode kind of work on all the intricate little pieces that go inside here, including the uh, subrail extensions, which are not the same for a five window coupe. So I'm going to have to make, um, make those up, but uh, I've done that before. We'll do a quick video as part of it, either on this, the next one or the following one. Um, but that's it for this week. Uh, please like, share, tag, subscribe, and comment. So there, I got them all. Um, everybody have a great week. Take care.